Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Coaster Spot, and today I thought I would give you a preseason update of Hershey Park. I was at the park for a construction update of Wildcast Revenge, and I noticed that lots of testing was taking place, some maintenance, and some other things. So I thought I'd uh, show you that instead of just hiding it inside of a Wildcast Revenge update, which you should also check out. But first off, couldn't help to notice, but that the WIP building is getting its roof replaced. Of course, if you haven't heard already, the WIP was retired at the end of last year at some point. And uh, yeah, we can see that they are replacing the roof with a metal sheet roof from the wood shingle roof that most of the Midway America buildings originally had. It seems like just like Wildcat, they're converting it over to sheet metal. I do like the color. But this makes perfect sense since a wood shingle roof usually has a lifespan about 20 to 30 years, and it was about 25 years old. And before we continue about that, we went over to Zoo America, because it's on the pass, of course, and the prairie dogs were out and being adorable, digging around, going inside and outside of their holes, kicking up dirt, wiggling their little tails. They are just so cute. But going back to the whip building, so what does this mean? This does mean that the park has plans. Of course, we saw the whip building was still standing. All the pieces have been removed, but we didn't know if they would be keeping the building or not. I assume they would. The Dark Knights is going to be expanded. They've already said that. You're going to have more dates, more scares, hopefully better scare zones. But we went on the first Sunday of the event. It was not very busy, but I heard that later in the season, the lines got very long. So adding another house or two is probably something the park needed. And considering that I believe the whip building was used for Q and might have closed before Dark Knights even opened? Let me know in the comments down below when Whip actually closed last year, because I'm not sure. It makes perfect sense being next to two other houses to add another one right there. I'd also love to see a beer garden during the summer, but will the construction of the new house happen, or will Wildcats Revenge open first? Comment down below. Also over in America, it looks like they're renovating what used to be a snack stand into a little cafe or bakery or something like that which uh, probably a good improvement. The uh, food offerings in Zoo America were not great. Looks like they're doing some inspections on the track, if I were to guess. Had no idea the front glass could be flipped up like that. There it is. And as I thought at the time, of course, yep, they were just doing inspections on that track. Just interesting process how they just use the vehicle itself to get around the track to tighten stuff and do maintenance on the rail that powers the ride. And then this is when really started catching testing. When I was in Zoo America, I could hear Sky Rush tumbling down the drop as that ride is so loud for not the good reasons, but such a good ride though. Who's excited for Sky Rush? I know I am. And then most of the testing I caught was from up at the Hershey Gardens because that's where I was taking a view of Wildcats for Revenge, of course, for that construction update. Go check it out. And, uh, yeah, Jolly Rancher Remix. Getting it all ready. Love it. Love that ride so much. It's such an improvement. I mean, it was already a good boomerang, but now I just love it. It's like a dance party. It's so much fun. Can't wait to ride it again. And then Great Bear was testing. And what's really neat about this is you can see the wheel covers aren't quite on yet. Now, that makes complete sense. This is the test and adjust period. So uh, you don't put the wheel covers on until you're finished everything else. And uh, yeah, there it goes. Very neat to see. And then we got the most test runs of Fahrenheit since it was right behind Wildcat's Revenge as we were monitoring the construction of that. There it is going around. And uh, it's not the only vertical drop by Intamin anymore. There's an another, oh, look, look at that guy in the tree. Didn't notice that until just now. Yeah, there's another uh, Beyond Vertical Drop into Min Coaster now in China. Many, many years later, they built another one. But that's going to be it. I'm excited to be at the park on Sunday, and hopefully the weather isn't too bad for y'all going on Saturday. But yeah, videos on Monday and Tuesday, construction update, then park video, update vlog to get y'all ready for the season. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex. Like, comment, and subscribe.